For the purpose of the tape, can you please tell me your name and age? Lucy Delves, age 20. Thank you, Rosanna. Now, can you tell me how long you've suffered from sleep paralysis? It's hard to place an exact date on it. I know when I was a teenager, it became stronger. It was happening almost every night. Before that, there's a distant memory. I suffered from sleep terrors, bad nightmares as a child. I'd run into my parents' room too scared to look behind me. Why am you scared to look behind you? I could sense something chasing me. Even at times tugging at my back. 
When I was younger, I wore these red pyjamas with a satin ribbon at the back of the neck. I could feel the ribbon being tugged as if from above. And would you tell your parents that you believed that something was chasing you? At first, yes, I truly believed it was. My father would go and check if there was anyone in the house while I waited with my mother. They let me sleep in their bed and calm me down till I got back to sleep. And uh, how often would these night terrors occur? About once or twice a week. They continued throughout my childhood until around the age of 13, the time of my father passing. It was about that time that the sleep paralysis became prevalent. And were you aware that what you were suffering from was sleep paralysis? No. It felt like an intruder. A presence. Not a nightmare. Can you please describe for me in as much detail as you can your experience of sleep paralysis? It began with this feeling. Even though it's the same feeling every time. I'm struggling to explain it. It's a gut feeling that I'm no longer alone. The presence that I have no control over has entered the room. My breathing gets faster, yet my body remains still. There's the same sound every time, like wind rushing down a tunnel. It's soft and quiet at first, like I'm standing at the end of a long, dark tunnel. Then the sound engulfs my hearing, blocking out the ticking clock beside my bed. I can move my eyes, yet nothing else. I catch a glimpse of light, and what I see are eyes. The same eyes I know have haunted me every time. A face forms in the corner of the room. A clear shape clouded by dark rings as if those sunken eyes are floating on their own. The head touches the ceiling of the room, as if the things mistakenly stepped into a doll's house. You say a thing. What do you mean? It's the same every time. I can't call it a man because it's not. I have no idea what it is. It stepped out of the shadows from the walls. Or rather, the walls became this figure. Each piece of wallpaper became more distinct as it got closer. It walked slightly crooked. Limbs fragmented together piece by piece as if not belonging to itself. I felt this control it had over me. This fear mixed with comfort. I can't explain it. Something or someone was watching over me, taking control. It looked like me. You saw yourself? I saw myself, but it wasn't me. Whatever was taking my form was not human, not breathing. Yet it had more life in it than I did. I remained paralysed and trapped, watching this scene unfold. The wallpaper figure came closer, holding the tangled version of me in its pointed fingers. Like a puppeteer in his tool. They stopped at the end of the bed. and looked over me. Like I said, I was frightened. But I knew something felt right. (laughs) 
like I said, I was frightened. But I knew something felt right. It's a gut feeling that I'm no longer alone. The presence that I have no control over has entered the room. My breathing gets faster, yet my body remains still. There's the same sound every time, like wind rushing down a tunnel. It's soft and quiet at first, like I'm standing at the end of a long, dark tunnel. Then the sound engulfs my hearing, blocking out the ticking clock beside my bed. I can move my eyes, yet nothing else. I catch a glimpse of light. And what I see are eyes. The same eyes I know have haunted me every time. A face forms in the corner of the room. A clear shape, clouded by dark rings, as if those sunken eyes are floating on their own. The head touches the ceiling of the room as if the things mistakenly stepped into a doll's house. I catch a glimpse of light, and what I see are eyes. Same eyes I know have haunted Same eyes, same eyes, same eyes, same eyes, same eyes, same eyes.